day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Everybody. I'm glad you're back. You know, and I hope you enjoy that. But the fact is that knowing God means going to heaven because that's where he prepared a place for us. And, you know, I was sitting there talking lately to some people uh, because, you know, we were talking about hell and and, and said so we moved on now to the, the subject of where we're supposed to go and what place has been prepared for us, which is heaven. And I was talking to some people uh about the gospel as a whole, about Christianity, and really, I guess, about all other types of uh, beliefs out there and faith out there and religions, I guess you want to call it. I don't believe Christianity is a religion. I believe Christianity is a way of life. But the part is that I like when we talk about Philippians uh, 1.6, that it says, I'm confident in this very thing, that he who has began a good work in you will shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And that's the Holy Spirit. You know, and, and belief sometime is to, to understand that we do our part. All of us that are believers are the soul and water. So in water, so and so what? So the word of God. <laughs> and encourage people with the uh, focus of knowing him, Philippians 3.10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, conformable unto his death. And, it's, as, and I also want to make sure to put the balance in there. When I say somebody going to the club, when I say somebody partying or somebody doing some other things that are considered uh, sinful or immoral, make sure to understand, I'm not telling that that's, those things are okay. What I'm saying is it's important for us as fellow believers to encourage people to come as they are and allow the Holy Spirit, your encouragement, not your condemnation, to, to help people to grow the things of God and give them time. I don't know how long people need to change from one thing. I don't know how long it takes somebody to get out of addiction. And there's other types and forms of addiction, but the thing is that we need to understand it's the Holy Spirit that's doing the work. And we want to encourage people to come and fellowship with other believers because I believe as you, as you get to know him, that means you're fellowshipping with him. You get to know one another as believers. You're also fellowshipping and people going the way. So just encourage one another uh, and not run people off because you don't like where they are. Guess what? It's the Holy Spirit going to change them, not you. Your disdain and anything else won't make a difference. So just, just understand that. Then the other piece is that some people, we need to understand that the preaching of the gospel is foolish to those that are perishing. You don't, I just want you to understand that. Because most people want to do it on their own, get their own ability and, 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 and say, I did it. Well, let them go ahead and do that. For us is to be consistent in growing the things of God and knowing this, we already got a place prepared for us. And we encourage anybody else to come and, 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 and join us into what God has prepared us for. But it's their choice. And don't be discouraged because I still believe this. He who begins good work in you, I'm confident. We're performing to the day of Jesus Christ. So we will continue to believe that and understand that and be encouraged and happy. Hey, for our own faith, the joy of the Lord is our strength. He walks with us. He talks to us. And he talks to us in our spirit. And we rejoice for what he did and thankful for what he did. And let the world know there's a Jesus Christ. There's a Holy Spirit. There's God Almighty this inside of all of us, let them see the blessing, the benefits, 
that comes with a believer. But like I said, not by religion, not by being religious. Just the fact is, those are options I have. Receive Christ and live according to the word of God or try something else that I believe leads to destruction. So encourage one another, love one another, and enjoy your life. Amen? All right. I'll check you later. Enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Because we, in my fact, I would think about it, Brother Addison, is that when the atheist is concerned about us fearing about, most kids, I think, I always thought about when people somebody fear, man, you see the Christianity or faith or religion because of death. I always keep saying that at the, the, the physical level. Because that still makes no, no sense to me. It depends on far as thinking that it ends. Yeah. My brain just can't function that way. Yeah. That and you just can't. Of your you conscience, because I can't imagine, you know, the 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 voice that you hear, the thoughts that produce the voice. Yeah. You know that energy. Yeah. That's, how does that just cease? I know it. Right. You know, my my brain just. And I mean, I used to think on that uh -huh. as a as a kid. Yeah. Seriously, just meditating on, you know, what happens. Mm -hmm. After this, yeah. you know, what, what what is death really like? Really like? Yeah. And and, I, and, and even in me just meditating on. Yes, sir. You know the finality of, of that. I I just could not see an, an end mm -hmm. to the thought. Yeah. Just the, the the fact that my mind thinks. Yes, sir. How does that stop? Exactly. You know, exactly. Even if there's no physical uh, body. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the thing about it, they want to have faith that that's what happens. That that's the end. And yeah. then they're fighting to convince you that that's going to be the case because the only evidence they're using is the physical. Yeah. When we, that's, I think that's the whole point. Of, even how mass or how I can need it, there's a spiritual awareness above this physical awareness. And therefore, those who want to believe that, if, if, if you know what, if some people think it's foolish, right? The preaching the gospel is foolish to those who are perishing. The problem is it's foolish for you to think that it ends at your physical death. Right. I don't know. Is, well, which, which you have no evidence. Existence alone. You know, existence. Is, is evidence uh -huh. that there's something beyond physical death. Come on, man. You know, um, you know by virtue of the fact that from... I mean, if that's the case, then how are you ever here? <laughs> you came here because there's something before you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it will be something after you. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if you just want to, you know, debate on that. You bet, so yeah. I, I, you're right, and, and it's just again, you know, that's where Satan and some individuals has been able to <clears throat> deceive. We yeah. talked about deception yeah. earlier, right? yeah. where he's been able to deceive some into thinking that that's all there is. And I think what that does for them is it, okay, well, you know what, then um, then I don't need necessarily need to worry. I guess I'm just going to settle it right there. Mm -hmm. Well, for those of us who believe, we realize that it's not settled there. Exactly. That's the reason why we continue to search right. beyond ourselves. And then we are blessed in coming to the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ and the relationship with the Father that he's established for us. Yes, sir. But, you know, I um, it is a sad situation when you, when you do think of someone who says, okay, you know, that's that, that's all there is. You know, they may be, they may have peace at this moment, but that temporary peace that's will temporary. lead to uh, everlasting uh, suffering yeah. in hell five. Yeah. You know, because yeah. they, you know, weren't willing to, to give Jesus a chance. Come on now. In their lives. Right. You know. Right. And, and, and like I said, and once again, to me, that's still having faith. It's just having faith in the wrong foundation. Oh, yeah. It crumbles. That's it, the, uh, it, that, you know what I mean? In yeah. matter of fact, I think what happened with the crumble part is when they get close to death, all of a sudden they're reassessing that, 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 that yeah. situation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Self-preservation of bringing some <laughs> clarity it does. to the situation. It does. It really yeah. do. Yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, <laughs> there have been many people Come on. that believe in God, uh -huh. but when it comes down to their life, 
to their They're life. Crying out to God. Exactly. And they want to sit there. And like I said, some of them, even Aaron, when he was talking, and Robert was talking, he was trying to sit there and say some people are weak, so therefore they need something to hold on. You know what? I think it's foolish to hold on to me. If that's my foundation, because he's not, I guarantee he's not telling me that me, he is my foundation. That when I have a need, when I have a situation, I know he's not telling me it's him, but he thinks it's, it's important for me to have faith in me and already recognize my limitations. Mm -hmm. You know? So, Aaron Rodgers, was he a Christian prior to? He sounded like he was. In that statement. He said, was, so he, he was convinced. Mm hmm that God exists, and and uh, I guess he, he, he must have uh, believed in, in Christ, that he came to save his soul, the soul he met. At least he was raised that way, yeah. But the lack of knowledge mm -hmm. caused him, causing him the lack of to knowledge at this at this time, because yeah. he's put, someone's convinced him. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Otherwise. Yeah. And yeah. he's applying his faith in that. Exactly. Well, he was sitting there, the, the one he was talking about, the fact is 144,000. He thought that was cruel that 144,000 were going to heaven. Well, and yeah. that's called misunderstanding. It's called, uh, what you call it, the uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah. Who, yeah. That, that's their belief. Exactly. And that, that throws people off when they hear that misunderstanding. And they're trying to make that a doctrine. And it's like, if you just read it, if you just read, that's the whole point of just read it yourself. And it shouldn't take that long to read. That it's like 144,000 Jews. You're not a Jew. Right? And then if you keep reading that whole chapter, as a matter of fact, it's in this one. It's not, it's not in that, it's the next one after this, but it's saying is in heaven. There's a great multitude that no man can number. Mm -hmm. And we need us, that's the preaching of the gospel itself, yes. is to understand that there's no man can number. A whole bunch of people going to heaven, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about the world, the world, mm -hmm. whether they like it or not, a whole bunch of people going. You know? And it, all it, if we just get the gospel, I'm saying, it's, a simple, it's just believing. It's, it's not wrong, there's no hurt, there's no loss in just believing that I have eternal life. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no shame to the game to believe I have eternal life. It doesn't take, it doesn't take nothing out of my pocket or anything else, right? Amen. So, so that's why we know here saying that let not your heart be troubled, yet believe in God, believe also in me. Go, go ahead, Brother Jackson. In Number my two. Father's house One, two, are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Now, and that's the piece I want to make sure I understand. God is saying through Jesus Christ that he has prepared a place for you in heaven. Unlike the other place that prepared for something that going to eternal damnation, God is saying through Jesus Christ he's preparing a place for you. I like that part of understanding to every person who wants to believe there's a place for them. Amen? Go ahead and read that. Keep going. Amen. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Amen. And receive you unto myself. Yes, sir. That where I am, uh -huh. there ye may also be also. Yes, sir. Amen. And whither I go, ye know. Uh -huh. And the way ye know. Come on now. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. Uh -huh. and how can we know the way? Uh -huh. And here we go. Jesus <laughs> said unto him, I am the way. Yes, sir. The truth. And the light. Yes, sir. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. The truth, that means when, 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 when Brother Rogers was saying something, right? And, I, and you know somebody get mad. I remember one time I was talking to a, a group of people and I was talking about the positive of believers being you know, saved and all that stuff. I had somebody come after me, not at the, at the conference, but on the side and said, why do you see all those people who be saved? I said, I, I have faith for what God is going to do. I've got faith in His will. Amen. His will is for all men to be saved. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when, I don't. I can't go and pick, I, I, I can't pick. Yeah. Nor for me to discern who's saved or not. Mm -hmm. I have to operate in faith of His will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a Jonah moment. Woo! That guy was doing. You know, uh -huh. Hey, look, I, 
I got some issues with those folks. <laughs> why, you, why, you, how, why you trying to say that they're going to be saved? Well, hey, you know, look, gentlemen, you, you're yeah. not the one to judge, man. Well, it's not your doing. You just do what I need for you to do. Man. And he'll handle the rest. He'll handle the rest. Right. Now people Amen. believe that that happened. But that way, like you said, he's the way. So when, when Aaron was talking about 144,000, that's why I say go to Jesus. And that's what we're talking about the focus of this year of knowing him is to know him. Then we'll know the truth. And what is the truth? And what is that? Ain't John ain't the truth. That if you know the truth, the truth will make you or set you free. Mm -hmm. Know the truth. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are not operating based on truth. They're based on deception. They're based on misunderstanding. There's people going to hell because of people misunderstanding. Amen. You know? And then he said, the way. He said, many people, I talked to one of my friends, one of my friends in, in, uh, at the job, and he, he, he was a Christian, too. And he was talking about, well, he, I think he got into Hinduism, right? Because he, he didn't believe there's many ways to get there. And, and I said, well, I hear what you're saying, but I don't remember anybody from Buddha dying for me and paying for my sin. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember Muhammad dying for my sins, mm -hmm. huh? I, I, I don't remember any other. I don't. Matter of fact, I don't remember any other religion where they're dying for my transgressions. Mm -hmm. I see some they call sacrifice naked. Making animal sacrifices, making them being a sacrifice themselves, being a martyr. But no, nothing for. Matter of fact, you remember like the Islam, right? You get you you you, you get go to get hundred versions. You get seventy two versions, whatever versions. If you if you die as a martyr, mm -hmm. well, how about the fact that you get eternal life to Jesus Christ, who paid the price mm -hmm. for you, laid down his life, mm -hmm. God Almighty. And that's people got a problem with that. God died for me. Yeah. Because he paid the price. And they have a problem with that. Right? Yeah. That's why he said, I'm the way because I'm the only one telling you God so loved the world that he gave. He gave. He didn't ask. Right. And I think that's another problem. Is that Adam, they, don't, they, they, don't, they got a problem with the fact that he gave. Mm -hmm. He gave first. He loved first. He demonstrated love first. Right. We sitting there trying to figure out how we can do it. I can't go to Mecca, and I can't do all these things. I can't do it by the law. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, one of the things, uh, you just kind of made me think of something. One of the things that I think uh, man <coughs> makes a mistake of doing is thinking that, that we can handle what God has to deal with. Mm, uh, mm, mm. Only God only can God. handle what God Come has on, to deal with, and that's why he came. In that's why he came. His son. Yes, sir. Yes. Only God can handle this. Only God. And when we talk about the sins of the world, listen, if we just look at our own sins, we can't handle it ourselves. Can't. We can't really look yeah. at ourselves in the in the mirror. Yes, sir. And handle <laughs> it. How do you want to handle the sins of the world? Come on, man. The world? We can talk about what's happening on March 8th. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> on the sins of the world. God himself took it all, the wrath, mm. and laid it upon himself. And only he and could do it. He could have done it. Exactly. So, you know, the folks that are thinking otherwise now and going back to the Hinduism thing I think sometimes people misunderstand and it gets twisted and they forget Jesus is the only way mm -hmm. now if you want to say to me there are many ways to get to Jesus I'll give you that because I got my way to you got your way you got your way every one of us has our testimony uh -huh. Uh -huh. to Jesus to Jesus amen ultimately to Jesus, Jesus. the only way yes the only way but if you say I can get the guy going around you. Uh huh. The negative. On my own ability. On my own ability. The negative. It, it ain't, ain't gonna, gonna work. It ain't gonna work. And maybe that was some people want. They want to be able to say they earned it. Mm -hmm. And and they, they got a problem with gift. See, a gift is you didn't earn it. Mm -hmm. It was just given to you. You just receive it. You just receive it. That's right. That's right. It. That's right. And there's no you shame you can. Christ, who has been presented as a gift. Exactly. And, and what do you think, brother? Maybe. You, some people, because we know about this thing of value and worth, or lack thereof. Mm. See, like, if you give me a gift, and Brother Addison, I know I'm not worthy to receive it from you, then fine, I need to just be humble about it, right? Mm. <laughs> Instead of saying, uh, uh, I can't take that. Yeah, I, I, right. I don't feel worthy enough to even you did, accept And that's what I, so I don't I'm feel worthy. to accept it. I think I need to do something. I think be worthy. Be worthy yes, of accepting sir. If I need to there give you something you. back, <laughs> that's right. Because yeah. you know, uh, even in I owe you something now. I owe you. Like, what, what, 
in, in my marriage. If I give my wife something, she feels obligated uh -huh. to give it back. Yeah. You know, um, and it, it, it becomes, you know, an issue sometimes. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you can give people a gift and they get upset. Come on. Because now they feel they have to reciprocate. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. You know? They owe um, you something. Yeah. And, um, then it, and it also becomes... Like a a uh, 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 like a fight mm. almost, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out give. Yeah, yes, sir. You know, man, we're gonna resent so to become a burden. Yes, sir. Work. Exactly. You know, I'm not able to give <laughs> to the measure that you give. Yes, sir. Man, look at what Christ is giving. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, oh, what can I do? <laughs> That's going to measure up to, to give back. Come on. You know, and um, that there's a burden in that. It is you a know? burden so, if you're trying to. But, but a gift, if people receiving. realize what a gift really is. Come on. And we talk about eternal life. Yes. And that's other people about I'm the way, the truth, and the light. See, others, I can't get, Buddha can't get life from Buddha. Right. Buddha's trying to earn it. And I'm not trying to put them down. I mean, they want to get that and do the best they can. They can. But you he can't give me light. Right. We're also determined in fact we ask the question about what was good. And I said, no, that's subjective. Because somebody who's chopping somebody else's head off because the rest of the society believe that's right, they think they're doing good. Mm -hmm. It's subjective. Man himself can't we're trying to grade our own papers. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we can. Right. So you grade paper last night. You, you have authority to do that. Mm -hmm. Right? But you don't have authority for eternal life. Right. No man has that. Right. That's why God gave it to us as a gift. Amen? It was a gift in the garden. Life was a gift. It was a gift in the garden. And then yeah, because we messed gift. up and chose the wrong gift. The trees were gifts. Yes, sir. Come on, brother. You know, um, and, and then look, it told you what gift, what was not a gift. Yeah. Told you, brother, he told you. I, that is not, I didn't give you that. Yeah. He said, every tree, every tree of the tree of life, but he didn't, yeah. he didn't, but every tree, because he didn't exclude that. Every tree in this garden, I give you freely, except for this one. Just leave, leave the one that I told you is not a gift alone. That was, that was, that was, that was theft. That's theft. Yeah. Because it wasn't a gift. It wasn't a gift. They were forbidden. They told, yeah. And the consequences uh -huh. of, 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 Taking that, taking that was already explained. Ex so it was not a gift. It was not a gift. There you go, brother. He told you, don't touch it. every tree I gave you. He said it freely. Then you need everything else freely. Don't take away. Don't test this. Don't test this. That is deep by itself. And that's why he's saying is, I gave you life from the beginning. From the beginning, he gave us life. We didn't take it. And I'm talking about our representative, our father. It before us, our ancestors, really the only two begin. And everything else produced after his own kind. I, I told him that's it. I told him that other thing. Everything else produced after his own kind. So if Adam was a sinner, all he can do is a sinner. Right. Oh, our sinner, that's all he can be doing. Is that right? After, after that, that sin uh -huh. to, to, to root, and it had to grow. It had to grow, right. But all he can produce, though, yeah. is sin. Yeah. See, if he had eaten the tree of life first, all he could produce was people of life. Regardless of what he did, everybody else was with life because he was given. And now he said, I'm giving it back to you again. I'm, I'm putting it back in your hands to give you life. And some people choose the death because they don't understand the truth. The simple fact of just believing. In this case, the simple fact of just receiving. You ain't got to do nothing else. He ain't got to do it. That's what we try to do. We try to make all these rules, brother Isaac. We want you to go, oh, you got to do this and that. No, how about just believe in the fact is that he, you know, I told you before Jack earlier, he who become a good work is one I'm confident in. Is going to be the finish. But then there's also those <laughs> who are given a false representation. <laughs> Of, of Christ. Uh -huh. they're, they're not given the gospel. They're not freely Ooh. given. Yes. They're, yeah. they're, they're putting qualifications Come on. 
to receive the gift. Yes, sir. You know, not knowing. Now, yes, that sir. has nothing to do with God mm. or Jesus Christ. Come on. <laughs> or the gospel. Or the gospel. It's that person. That person that's that that's trying to to add all these stipulations. Yes, sir. You know, and um, which obviously leads you to believe yes, sir. Yes, sir. that there's some people who think they're Christian. Yes, sir. Christ like yes. and, and are not. And, and, and because they have not received the gospel. And the gospel. And there's no faith. Yes, sir. Because you've got to have uh -huh. the word uh -huh. to uh -huh. have faith uh -huh. to receive the text. There's no boasting no. in it. And you know, that's one of the things, Brother Jeff, we see people doing this. They, they, they become resentful to you because they feel they did all this work and why you ain't doing it. Uh -huh. I mean, that's why sometimes they, they act that way. Uh, why you ain't you ain't acting the way I'm doing? I go to church seven times a week, seven days a week. Uh -huh. I've been there every, I, I, pray, I pray an hour every day. Uh, 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 I, I, I don't read the Bible 50 times. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, 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 I do all the laws. I, I'm, I'm, I am it. I don't smoke, don't chew, don't hang with nobody that do. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You ain't saved. Mm -hmm. You ain't, he ain't saved because he ain't doing everything he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. He's doing the only thing he needs to do. Amen. Is to believe in <laughs> Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. Amen. That is all you need to do. Everything else moves into that. By being renewing of the mind, not by renewing by the flesh, but renewing in the mind. But that has nothing to do with the gift. Okay. The gift is already the renewing given. Renewing of the mind is to understand the gift. It's just, to, woo! I, to, said, what you just say? <laughs> you just to, we got right into, that's a t-shirt, Brother Jackson. Amen. That's a t-shirt. He didn't know God. Flesh and blood did not reveal that to that man. Amen. He did flesh and blood. What? He gotta remember himself. <laughs> what is it? What you say? I said that renewing of the mind just it, it it tells you and reveals the gift. The gift. It reveals the gift to you, the fullness of the gift. The full. Then you that's the reason I was saying the revelation. The fullness of the gift. Renewing your mind is understanding the gift. Mm -hmm. And all that it entails. Oh, come because on. a lot of people are just they'll just unwrap enough to see yes, eternal life. Yes, sir. You know, yes. not 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 the uh the power yes, and the authority that's also wrapped into that, mm. that gift. Mm. Or the uh or the health yeah. or the wealth, yeah. the power. The, the, the kinship, Come the on. brothership, Come on, brother. the sonship, Come on, brother. the authority, <laughs> yes, the power, just the understanding yes, sir. Is, is all wrapped up in that gift. Yes, and yes. Woo! If you don't Woo! know, you don't know. Did you say that? Understanding the gift. You know that script that goes with that, I, I, I can't really record, but the one about forgetting out all your benefits. The benefits of the gift. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you give me a car, I know the benefits of that car. Mm -hmm. If you give me a house, I understand the benefit of that gift, right? Mm -hmm. God is saying, and that's God is said, that's a that's a good word he just said. Oh, yeah. The understanding, the gift, the benefit of that gift, which is eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I mean, that's that, brother, you, you. you Blessed Lord. I'm gonna tell you for me. Maybe that maybe that was simplicity for other people. No, I it, But for it, me, it's... understanding the gift, right? What the purpose of the gift? What's the quality of the gift? What is it? You know, look, the main thing I'll say, it's a gift. That, that's the first thing. Woo! Mm. Amen. Oh, you know what that brother said? That's the first thing. Amen. Is knowing that the purpose of the gift. Understand it, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. You can't earn it. You can't boast it. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't sit there and put somebody else down. Yeah. Because it's a gift. Mm -hmm. It don't care what your color of your skin, it doesn't care when you're rich or black or poor or whatever, it doesn't matter. That's why I put the script in, no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. And then the one that you know we, we didn't get to, and I like to do it next time, is the fact is the wedding. 
Y'all remember the time about the, the, the wedding when they brought her? He called, he said, go get the good yeah. and the bad. Mm -hmm. Come. Mm -hmm. Come to the wedding. Mm -hmm. and, and look, boss obviously gave you garments to come into the wedding. Then he asked, that's why he, you know what, that's why he sat there and said, how do you get in here? <laughs> Can I know I gave him a gift? That's the wedding. We'll read it again next time. Because most people don't know the wedding. So saying, we talked before you came in. Is most people have back early. People haven't read the Bible. So they don't even think. So that's why we read it again. So we can break it down. So people can hear yes. and see it. Yes. But the whole point is this. How did you, how did you get here? Because <laughs> I know I gave him a gift. I know I gave everybody a garment. How did you get here? You stood out for a reason. Yeah. Stood out for a reason, didn't it? Yeah. Cause that one probably could sit there and say, "Well, I got here on my own." I I, I know you invited everybody, yeah. but I started to show up on my own. Party crash. I'm a party crash. Yeah. Even though the fact is that everybody was welcome to come. Everybody. Why, why are you dressed in black, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, what I'm saying it stood out. It probably stood out because he probably clapped to the window. He came, it, the door was open. Yeah. Everybody was invited to the gift, but it was an interest way to the gift. I mean, to the wedding. I guarantee he came another way. And that's why, because if you came through the door, they would have gave you a garment. They wouldn't even let you go, hey, huh, bro? Oh, excuse me, bro. You can't put this on. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't come the way. He didn't come the way. So he didn't get the garment. I guarantee you, everybody was in the interest of that gate that brought people in, had the garment for them. Ain't it the something? There you go. You go ahead and lock it up, brother. Amen. Amen. Woo! Father in heaven, Lord. We say it more time. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. <laughs> Highest praises, yes, Father. Yes, Father. To you. <laughs> because of who you are. Who you are. Father, let us pause right, right, just this moment, moment because it is true. It is because of who you are. Yes. Not because of what you've given us. Not because of the resources, not because of our skills, oh. not because of our relationships, our family, our work. Ooh. None of those things that are material or what's, what the world sees or what Satan sees as value. Yes. But simply because of who you are, dear Father, we give you praise. Yes. You are worthy. As your son Jesus said, there is none good but you. None good but you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, because of your goodness, which is, it, it cannot be. Uh, contained in a, in a single session, um, with the exception of, of how you've demonstrated to us yes. that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten Son to mm. whosoever believeth mm. in Jesus Christ. Yes. The way, the truth, and the life has a relationship with you. Yes. You will be saved. Mm. We'll have everlasting life and an everlasting relationship with you. Yes. Wow. Father, we thank you. Thank you. For so many things. Mm. The things that we can articulate. Yes. And for the things that we cannot. And these things are all in the spirit. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> we thank you for obeying our Father. Yes. <laughs> and he's our Father because of you. Because of you. Because you obeyed. Yes. <laughs> you sacrificed. Yes. Things in heaven that we <laughs> can't even imagine. Yes. <laughs> As you kind of explained in the parable of the rich man. When yes. You may have done all these things, but but you lack one thing, and if you if you you've got to sell those things because that will hold us back. And you Woo. let go of everything, dear Jesus. Everything. Everything. To the point that on the cross you ask God the Father, why has He forsaken you? Yes. And because you obeyed Him even then. Mm. Even then, unto death. Yes. That hell. Mm. <laughs> no aspect of the of sin nature. Come on. Could hold you. <laughs> and God found you so worthy. Yes. So worthy. You, you were raised from the dead. Yes. <laughs> Proof. Woo. <laughs> that you were perfect sacrifice. <laughs> and as a result of those of us who believe in you. Yes. We have. <laughs> That relationship with God the Father. Yes. Jesus, thank you. Mm. And you said to the disciples that as often as they take bread yes. and drink the wine, yes. 
do it in remembrance of you. In remembrance of you. We do this now. <laughs> in reverence. In reverence. With the renewing of our mind this morning. Yes. And giving you the glory, yes. honor, and praise according to the will yes. of, the of the Father. We say these things in your precious and holy name, Jesus. Amen. Take the bread, break it, and eat it. In remembrance of Christ. Understand. And now, mm. in Jesus, we take this cup. Yes. Your pure blood poured out mm. for all of mankind, for me, mm. and all who believe. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That we are made righteous. Okay. Not because of what we have done, but because mm. of what you have done. What you have done. And you have gifted us, yes. dear Father, with your son. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We remember you now. Take us into this day mm. that we may do the spiritual things, <laughs> not to glorify ourselves, Woo! but to glorify God the Father <laughs> through you. Yes. Say these things in your precious and holy name. Yes. Amen. 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 And now resources, mm. not just that are contained in this this tray. Yes. But all of the resources that we all have. Yes. Father, help us to turn those things around. <laughs> So that we can bless others. Yes. Bless the homeless. Yes. Bless the widow and the widower. Yes. Bless those that are hungry. Yes. Who are naked. Yes. Not just physically, but spiritually. Yes. We need a renewing of the mind. Yes. Mm. We need a smile from you. Yes, from you, glorifying you for everything. We need the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Let us take all the resources that we have. Yes. And direct it towards your goal. Your goal. The good news in the gospel. Yes. Thank you, dear Father. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and you, your Holy Jesus. Spirit, that was out with you. Yes. Say the same in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. 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 I like that. I walk out with an understanding. Yes, sir. I got time.